It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Dr. Brew and it's a bottle of the American IPA. It's 6.2% ABV, it's 90 IBUs and it's been brewed with Cascade, Galaxy, Magnum and Motuika. Lovely, lovely sounding beer. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Ooh, lots of smoke on the opening. 90 IBUs. I do love these Polish IPAs. They do, they do kind of rock my world. Okay, so beer in the glass. It's a lovely golden coloured ale. Nice levels. Wow, look at that beer developing in the glass. Look at the carbonation. And look how clear the beer is. Look at that in the camera. That's a lovely amber, slight mahogany, clean, crisp looking beer with a lovely three finger tan coloured head. It really is well carbonated, look at that. Right, on to the aroma. Wow. Lots and lots of hops, of course it is, it's 90 IBUs. So I'm concentrating a little bit on flavour and a little bit of that malty sweetness for the balance of the beer. I am picking up a little bit of toffee malt. I'm picking up big pungent grapefruity aromas in the beer, piney aromas. I reckon we should dive in. Cheers, everyone. Malty. Biscuity. Woo! And there's that 90 IBU. That big. I tell you what, it bam that malt though, that's, that malt gives it a little bit of a uppercut. It's there, it's, it's actually kind of fighting the malt. The malt is, it's like a giant, the hop is the giant walking through the field. And you've got this little whippersnapper dog snapping at his heels and that's the malt. So the malt, even though it's, it's not enough to take that big giant down, it's enough to give off his presence and say, hey, I'm here. I'm biting your leg. So yeah, that maltiness is fantastic in the beer. But the bitterness is absolutely off the scale. I just breathed in as I drank some of the beer. And I had a sense of almost like a, uh, maybe a small hint of raspberry or something with the, with the malt and all of the hops being infused together. But wow, that bitterness claws at the back of your throat. It's nicely carbonated, pushes the beer around inside of the mouth, it kind of zings and springs around in there. Flavour wise, I think it's 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 a lot more to do with the bitterness this beer. You do get a lot of bitter grapefruit, you do get a lot of bitter pine needles. A little bit of pineapple in there smallest of touches of of as I said that kind of almost raspberry strawberry flavor in there but it's then raw bitterness if you love your bitterness in the beer in fact if it's the most important part of your beer drinking experience then I totally suggest this beer Look at that. So, it's bottle conditioned, you can see that. 
See all that yeast there floating round in the glass, suspended there in the glass. Now while it's in that, I might as well explain it. It's the second fermentation process. It's what gets that carbonation going in the bottle and then in the glass when you pour it. It's a natural way to carbonate your beer without forced carbonation. There you go. Okay, my final thoughts and a rating for Dr. Brew American IPA. Quite flavoursome. I like that malt backbone. I like that little kind of malty whippersnapper biting at that giant's leg of the hop. I like that about the beer. I like the balance of the beer. Even though it's incredibly hopped, you still get a sense of the balance of the beer. The bitterness would suggest for me personally, it's a one bottle beer per night. Um, I, would, I would kind of drink it and then think, right, Okay, we've done the hops now. Maybe let's crack out a buck or maybe let's crack out a chocolate stout or a porter. And I think that's the variety of craft beer. There's so many beers out there now that, that you can jump from Belgium triple to, to American IPA to whatever style of beer that you fancy that night. So for me, I wouldn't want to drink four bottles of it. Um, I think I'd be quite happy with the one because of that raging bitterness, but I don't think Dr. Brew brewed this beer to, to, for you to consume four or five pints of it in one sitting. So rating then, I'm gonna give this one, I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10. It's an eight out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please come along and say hi to me in Roslav at the end of the month, April. I'll be there at the beer festival. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.